Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki. I post about all things Notion, tech customization, and design. I recently designed this Notion template right here, and this video is going to be a full, in-depth, step-by-step tutorial on how to build this from scratch. As you can see, this is a very simple and clean but aesthetic one-page Notion template. This tutorial is geared more towards beginners, so I'm not going to be using any advanced Notion features like databases or anything like that. Just a essential tools and customization features to get you acquainted with the basics. If you do want to use this design as a template, I will have it linked down below for free, as well as a free Canva template for the banner. So if you want to switch out your own images and text, you can do that with the template. And with that, let's start building our Notion. Okay, so first things first, we're going to want to make a new page in our Notion. So I'm going to go ahead and click this icon in the upper left corner, and then that's going to open our sidebar. Then I'm going to mouse over where it says private and click the plus icon. And then when I'm designing in Notion, I like to close my sidebar here. So I'm going to click this icon, and then we have a fresh blank page in Notion. And the very first thing I'm going to do is add my banner at the top of my page. And for this, I actually have a free Notion banner template that you can find on my website. I'll link it down below. But this is a free Canva template. You don't need Canva Pro to use this template. So you can, of course, use this banner exactly as is. But if you want to change the text or switch out any of the images with your own custom ones, you can do that too. When you're ready to use it, just make sure to download it as a JPEG or PNG file. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our banner. So if we mouse over the top of the page here, we're going to see an add cover option. So go ahead and click that. And then Notion is going to add a default cover automatically for us. Us. And if we want to add our own custom one, go ahead and click change cover. And then I like to upload my own custom banner. So I'm going to click upload, upload file, and then upload my banner from my desktop. And then that looks really, really cute. And then before I move on to adding all of my elements on the actual Notion page here, I want to make this full width. So to do that, I'm going to go up to these three little dots in the upper right corner and click on them. Then I'm going to go down until I find the full width option and just toggle that on. Next, I'm going to add a cute little icon right here. So to do that, I'm just going to mouse over this area and then click on add icon. And then Notion will usually add a default one, but I'm going to go under emojis and choose the white heart. And then we get to name our Notion. So I'm just going to click right here where it says new page and then type what I want to name this template. Now I'm going to add a cute little quote bar at the top of my page here. So to do that, mouse over on the left hand side of your screen and then click call out. So I want to change the background color of this call out. And to do that, we are going to click on this dots icon and then go to color. And I'm going to do the gray background. I can change this icon by clicking on it and then choosing either an emoji, an icon, or upload our own custom icon. For this one, I'm going to go back under icons and choose this little sun. Then I'm going to add my quote, so I'm just going to click in the call out and type my quote. Okay, so next we're going to add our little clock widget. This is probably one of my favorite Notion widgets ever, and this widget is free, and to get it, we are going to go to widgetbox.app, and then if you don't have an account already, go ahead and make one, and then in your your app, you should see a page that looks like this with all of your widget options on the side. So go down until you see clocks and then click on digital clock and then click on customize and embed. Then what we're going to do is customize how our clock looks. So I'm just going to input my background color here and I'm going to do a custom hex code. This one is going to be F3F2EC and then just click out. And now I'm going to set my text color. I'm going to input another custom hex code. For this one, it's going to be 8A8. 282. And then the last thing I'm going to do here is adjust my corner rounding. So I'm going to click on medium. Now that I'm done, I'm going to click at the top here where it says copy embed URL and then go back to Notion. Then I'm going to click anywhere in this blank area down here and paste in my link. And then you're going to have this little menu come up. Go ahead and click on embed. And then we have our little clock widget. Next, I'm going to make a little daily to do list. So to do that, again, mouse over anywhere kind of on the left area of your screen and then click on the plus icon and then click on call out. So for this one, I actually want to remove this icon. So I'm going to click on it and then just go up here and click remove. Then I want to change 
the color of this call out. So I'm gonna mouse over it and click the dots icon, go to color. And then for this one, I'm gonna do default background. Next, I'm gonna add the title for my to-do list. So I'm just gonna write daily to-do. And I wanna make this text bigger. So I'm going to highlight it. And when I do that, you're gonna have this menu bar come up. So I'm gonna go over to text and select heading to. Okay, perfect. So now I'm gonna move on to making the actual to-do list. So I'm just gonna press enter to make a new line and then mouse over that new line and click on the plus icon. Then scroll down until you find to-do list. And then I'm just gonna add a placeholder here like item one. Then I'm just gonna click on the end of where it says daily to-do and click on enter to add a space in between these two text areas. And then I like to add little lines in between each item on my to-do list so that it looks like a little note card. So to do that, I'm gonna click again on the plus icon. Then I'm gonna scroll down until I see divider and click on that. And then I'm going to essentially just duplicate these items until I like how it looks. So to duplicate an item, mouse over it and click the dots and then click on duplicate. And then I'm going to be doing a lot of dragging and moving things around. So to do that, mouse over an item and then drag on the dots icon. And then I'm just gonna keep repeating that until I'm done. Now that I have all of my items in my to-do list, I'm just gonna click on the bottom here and press delete, and then that'll get rid of that extra space at the bottom. And then that's all I'm gonna do for the daily to-do list, and the next thing I'm gonna add is a Spotify playlist. So to do this, go into your Spotify and navigate to the playlist that you wanna add. I am doing this the Summer I Turn Pretty inspired playlist. And then once you have your playlist, go ahead to this little dots icon and click on it, and then go down to share, and then click on copy link to playlist. Then go back to your Notion, click on a blank area in your page, and paste your link. And then click on embed. The next thing I'm going to do is add a very simple habit tracker. And it's going to be the same format as my daily to-do list. So to keep things simple, I am literally just going to duplicate this box here. So to do that, I'm going to mouse over it and then click the dots and then click on duplicate. And then I'm just going to change this title here to habits. And then the last thing I'm gonna do for this little top section in my Notion is add my vision board. So my vision board is just gonna be a bunch of pretty images that I found on Pinterest. So to add an image, mouse over the blank area on your page and click the plus and then click on image and then upload file. And then I have my images pre-saved on my desktop. So I'm just gonna click in this folder and add them one by one. Okay, so I have all of my images added and I do have them already pre-cropped to a square ratio. You can do that before you bring them into Notion, but if you wanna crop them in Notion, there is a way to do that and I'm gonna show you how. So to crop an image in Notion, all you have to do is mouse over it and then click on this little icon in the middle of this menu bar here and then just click and drag on these handlebars until you get the crop that you want. You can also click on the arrow up here and explore these different crop options and then when you're done, all you're gonna do is click save. Okay, so now I have all of my elements added that I wanna use in my little intro section for this notion. And then the last thing I'm gonna do for this section is actually arrange everything. So to move all of these elements, all I'm gonna do is mouse over each one and then click and drag on this little dots icon here. Once you put two elements on the same line, if you mouse over kind of in between them, you're gonna see this bar appear. It's just like a vertical line. And then if you click and drag it, you're able to adjust the size and spacing a little bit more, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep on arranging things. So I have everything almost arranged how I want it, but I do wanna adjust the spacing a little bit more. I'm actually going to manually add some spacing in my Notion. And to do that, literally all you have to do is mouse over a blank area on your page, and then you can click and drag any empty space anywhere you want it. So I'm gonna put it in between these two images right here. And then that will add a nice empty space in between those images and give it more of a cleaner look. And then I'm just gonna keep doing that wherever I want some extra spacing. We can also also adjust the sizing of our playlist by clicking and dragging on these handlebars. So I'm just going to click on one and drag it all the way down to the bottom like there so it's nice and even. And then I'm just going to make any final adjustments and tweaks to this section. And then the very last thing I'm going to do on this section is remove this habit number six down here. I'm also going to remove that final divider. And then that is just to make sure that everything is even here on the bottom. So that is everything for our little intro 
dashboard section. Let's go ahead and move on to the daily schedule section. Hey guys, a quick break in today's video to thank this video's sponsor, UPDF. UPDF is an all-in-one AI-powered PDF editor that lets you do so, so much more than just read and edit documents. I'm gonna show you a couple ways that you can use their software to elevate your planning routine. One of my favorite features is that UPDF lets you edit text and images directly in a PDF. So if you download a digital planner, you don't have to stick with the default layout. You can literally change fonts, edit the text, and do literally whatever you want to the document. If you're a student, this is a great tool to edit your notes with, especially for annotating. You can add sticky notes, highlighters, shapes, and even freehand draw right in the editor. You can also use the AI features to summarize your notes for a quick review before an exam or something like that, which comes in super handy if you're short on time. UPDF also lets four devices access one account at the same time, which is great if you're doing a group project, sharing documents with clients, all sorts of situations. There's also a bunch of other super helpful features. You can do things like translate documents, ask the AI feature to to define terms for you, use cloud syncing, or even convert document content into a mind map. And of course, all the essential PDF editing features like convert file types, find and replace words, and of course, sign documents. Another super helpful feature is that you can sync your documents across all your devices. So whether you're at home or on the go, you can still edit your planner, your notes, etc. I will have links in my description box and in the pinned comment for you to try UPDF if you're interested. A big thank you again to them for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to the tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate this header up here. So I'm just going to mouse over it and then click the dots icon and then click on duplicate. Then I'm just going to click and drag it on the bottom here, just like that. And then to change the icon, I'm going to click on it and then select a new one. I'm going to search for calendar in this little search bar here and then just click on this one. Then I'm going to change this text here to say today's schedule. I want to make this text bold, so I'm going to highlight it and then click on on text and then click on heading to and then now we're going to actually add our schedule so go ahead and mouse on a blank area on your page and click the plus icon and then scroll down until you see the table option and then just click on it and then notion will add a blank table for us the default table has three columns but i only want to have two so i'm just going to click on this last column over here and then mouse over kind of the center at the top here and you're going to see this little icon up here go ahead and click on that and then just click on delete and then we are left with just two columns. So I want my schedule to stretch all the way across the width of the page. And to do that, I'm just gonna mouse over the edge here until I see the blue line appear and then just click and drag that all the way to the edge. Then I'm gonna do the same thing to adjust this line and make the left column a little bit smaller, maybe something like that. So I guess a lot smaller. And then I'm just gonna readjust this over here. And then the way the schedule is going to be formatted is that on the left side, we're going to have the time and and then on the right side, we're going to have the activity that we'll be doing at that time. So I'm just going to type in my labels at the top here, and then I'm just going to start filling in my times in the left column. To add a new row, all we have to do is mouse over this table here and then click the plus icon at the bottom. Now that I've added all of my times in there, this section is pretty much done. So I've done an hour by hour daily schedule, but obviously you can do whatever time system that you want. You can do half hours every 15 minutes, really whatever works for you and your schedule. Now we are going to move on to the next section, which is the daily journal section. I'm going to start by duplicating this call out so we have a header. Then I'm just going to drag this to the bottom here. I'm going to change out this icon by clicking on it. Then I'm going to use this pencil list icon. And then I'm just going to change out this text with daily journal. Now we are going to add our first journal block. So to do that, we are going to use the call out feature again. So I'm just going to mouse over a blank area on the page and click the plus icon. And then I'm going to click on call out. I'm going to get rid of this icon by clicking on it and then going up here and clicking remove. Now I'm just going to type in my first journal prompt. And for this one, I'm going to do what does my ideal day look like? And then I'm going to press enter. And then I like to add three little dots kind of as a placeholder. And then I'm just going to move my cursor back to the end of my prompt and press enter again. And then this is going to add an extra space in between my prompt and the dots. And then I'm just going to click out of this. And then I'm just going to duplicate this box three times. And now I'm just gonna arrange them how I like and also add some custom spacing. And then the last thing I'm gonna do for this section is add in my other journal prompts. 
And then once you do that, your daily journal section is complete. And now we are going to move on to the final section of this template. I'm just going to be adding a couple functional widgets as well as a cute little quote image. So to get started, let's go ahead and add a calendar. So again, make sure you're mousing over a blank area at the bottom of your screen and then press the plus icon and then scroll down until you find the calendar view option. And then we have our calendar in Notion. So I usually like to hide the name of my calendar. So to do that, just mouse over where it says new database and then click these little dots over here and then go down and click on hide database title. Next, we are going to add a weather widget and this one is also free. For this one, we're going to go to indify.co and then make a free account or log in. So once you're on your main page here, this is what you'll see. Scroll down and mouse over weather right here and then click on create widget and then add your widget title. So I usually just do something like weather and then I'm just going to go through all of these customization options and adjust everything until I'm happy with my widget. The only customization I really do here is change the number of days to zero and then that way it's only showing us the current weather and then down here we have a bunch of other really cool customization options like color and animated icons but I'm just gonna leave it like this I really like how simple and minimal this looks and then once I'm done I'm gonna go down here and click on this button right here to copy my link and then go back to notion and paste it in and then click on embed and then the very last thing we are going to add to our notion is a little quote image to add our image we can do the same thing we did before and click on the plus icon and then click on image and then click on upload file and then I'm just gonna upload my image from my desktop and then now that I have all of my elements added for this section I'm just gonna go ahead and arrange everything I'm gonna go ahead and drag an extra spacer up to the top here and then just adjust the spacing on this weather widget a little bit. And then once you do that, you are done building your Notion. So this is how it should be looking, really nice and cute. And that is the full Notion tutorial. I really hope you found this helpful and hopefully it helps to kind of break down some of the more intimidating parts of Notion. I know Notion can be a little bit overwhelming when you first start getting into it. I know it was that way for me. So hopefully this tutorial helped make that process just a little bit easier. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more Notion tutorials just like this one. And again, I will have links to the free Notion template and Canva banner template down in the description. So you're welcome to check those out if you want and I will see you in the next one.